Hello everyone. Today we're going to dive into something incredibly exciting that has the power to change the way you tackle problems. Whether it's organising your room, planning a school project, or even just getting through your morning routine. I'm talking about computational thinking. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is computational thinking? Well, it's a way of solving problems, designing systems, and understanding human behaviour that comes from the world of computer science. But don't worry, you don't need to be a computer scientist to use it. In fact, it's a skill set that's useful for everyone. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine you're organising your room. There's a strategy to deciding where things should go, how to categorise your items, and figuring out which tasks should be done first. This is where computational thinking comes in. And there are four key components to computational thinking. Decomposition, abstraction, pattern recognition, and algorithms. Let's break these down. First up is decomposition. This is all about breaking down a complex problem into smaller, easier to manage parts. Imagine you have a huge school project to complete. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, you could break it down into smaller tasks like researching, writing, and then creating the presentation. Suddenly, it feels much more manageable. Next, we have abstraction. This involves filtering out the unnecessary details and focusing on what's important. Think about playing a video game. You don't need to know how the code works behind the scenes. You just need to focus on using the controls to play and enjoy the game. By ignoring the complex details, you can concentrate on what really matters. Then there's pattern recognition. This is about looking for patterns in data or problems that can help predict future outcomes or simplify complex issues. For example, you might notice that your morning routine follows a certain sequence each day. Wake up, brush your teeth, have breakfast and so on. Recognising this pattern can help you optimise your time better. Finally, we have algorithms. Creating algorithms means designing a step-by-step -step solution to solve a problem to complete a task. Think of a recipe for cooking your favourite dish. It provides a set of instructions that, if followed correctly, will lead you to a delicious outcome. Algorithms work in the same way. They guide you through the steps to solve a problem. Computational thinking is not just for computer scientists. It's a valuable skill set for everyone. By learning to think like a computer, we can improve how we approach problems in our daily life. Whether it's breaking down a big task, focusing on what's important, recognising useful patterns, or following a set of instruction, these skills are incredibly useful. So next time you face a challenge, remember these four steps of comp computational thinking. They might just make your life a whole lot easier. This is just the beginning. In our upcoming lessons, we'll dive deeper into each of these components. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to exploring more about computational thinking with you. Have a great day.